Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Math and Woodworking. Today I'm going to be building some drawers. I already got finished building these drawers that are about 6 inches tall. And these are going to be in my dad's desk holding all sorts of random whatevers. Now I'm at the stage where I need to start building the file drawers. I've got lateral files and then just regular file drawers that I have to make. Um, so I've got to make really, really precise measurements to fit these guys in here. Got to worry about the, uh, I guess the prongs on the edge to be able to hang on something. Got to worry about the width and the height as well of the drawers. So I'm going to be doing some really precise measurements. So come follow along. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Here's my lovely drawing that I did of the opening that a lot of these file drawers are going to be going into. Um, this outer part is the face frame right here. Um, forget about the height. I've got all sorts of different heights in there. Um, I know they're going to fit, so I've got plenty of space there. Um, one thing to focus on is I've got a 14 and a half inch wide gap in all of these face frame pieces that are going to be accepting the regular file drawers. Um, I've also got slides, these drawer slides on the side that are exactly half an inch wide. Okay, so that's going to take away, if I've got 14 and a half inch total gap, I take away a half inch on the right, half inch on the left, that's a total inch, so I'm going to be left with 13 and a half inches from the outside of the box all the way to this right outside of the box as well. Since these are going to be file drawers, I'm going to be using some thicker plywood for these edges, the face and then the sides. I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch plywood, uh, but one of the things about 3 quarter inch plywood is it's not actually 3 inches if you take some calipers to it or just a tape measure. Uh, it comes out to be right around 0.725 inches, so not quite 0.75 inches, so that measurement's going to come in handy right here. Okay. Went ahead and measured one of these files. And the width of the file that I get is right at 11 and 3 quarters, just a hair under, but I'm going to call it 11 and 3 quarters over here. If I want this file to fit real nice into the box, um, I want to have just a little bit of play on either side. So I'm going to make this gap left to right 11 and 7 eighths. So I'm just technically adding on an eighth of an inch to the width of the inside of this box. So here's that 11 and 7 eighths inch gap on the inside or the interior of the box. That has to be money. Um, it can be a hair wider, but I don't really want to go any shorter. So I'm going to shoot real hard for 11 and 7 eighths. Just to double check some math and make sure I actually left myself enough room with this 14 and a half inch gap side to side, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I've got 11 and 7 eighths enough room or that much room on the interior. So I'm going to take my total width 14.5. I'm going to subtract the slides on both sides. So subtract 0.5 on the left and then subtract 0.5 on the right. And then I'm left with 13.5. That's that number we talked about before. Then I'm going to subtract the width of those two pieces of plywood. So minus point, we said 725. I'm going to subtract that again, minus point 725. And I'm left with 12.05 inches that's enough room. Okay, so I've got 11 and 7 eighths. I've got a little bit more than an eighth of an inch to play with, and that's totally cool. I can fudge that with the slides on the boards that I put on the inside walls of the carcass. So I've got plenty of room. We'll be good there. Another aspect to talk about these file folders would be the height. So I've got to make sure my box is tall enough. If I go from the inside part of that hook all the way down to the bottom, I'm reaching right around nine and a quarter. Um, one of the things though is I'm going to want to have a little bit of room to play with at the bottom. So if I went to nine and a half, that'd be perfect. Um, another thing to focus on too is I'm going to add some, a little steel piece in the top of those pieces of plywood in order to hook onto these guys. So that's going to be sticking out proud about a quarter of an inch from the top of the plywood. So I'm essentially going to be subtracting a quarter inch from the top. So if I add on that quarter inch at the bottom for a gap, but then I subtract it for the steel piece, I'm back at nine and a quarter. So if the height of the inside of the box from the top all the way down to the bottom is nine and a quarter, I should be money. So there's that nine and a quarter measurement from the top of the wood all the way down to the, I guess, the top of the bottom piece for that drawer. Um, one thing about this drawer, I'm going to go ahead and add that total width up. That piece is going to be about a quarter inch or so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jot in a quarter inch as small as I can. And then in order to have some support down here at the bottom with this bottom little chunk of wood so it doesn't break off, I can do about three-eighths of an inch or a half inch. So for right now, I'm going to make sure that that's about a half inch. Okay. So if we take that total width, I need nine and a quarter. 
plus another quarter, that's nine and a half. And then that last half inch of extra board at the bottom, that should be 10 inches tall. So if I get a 10 inch board right there, I should be pretty good to deal with. Now the last aspect and measurement for this box is where to put these two pieces of steel that are going to be running the length of the drawer on the left and the right side. I've got this three quarter inch piece of steel right here. That height isn't really um, that important. I'll just make sure I cut however long down. So if it's three quarter inches and I want it to be sticking out a quarter inch on top, I'm going to be cutting a half inch gap in that piece of plywood. Okay, so there's that piece of steel that's going to be running on the top of those files. In order to figure out where that steel is going to go, I need to measure up here on the top of these hooks. Uh, there's a little bit of play left to right in them that looks like about maybe a quarter inch or three sixteenths of an inch wide on both sides for that gap. So I'm going to create a window and kind of see what I'm working with. If I measure the inside part, that puts me right at about... 12 inches so there's right at about 12 inches right there I know it's kind of hard to see let's see if I can zoom in there we go there's your 12 inches right there just about at the top inside part now on the left side I'm gonna go to the far outside part and we're gonna measure that outside distance so here's the outside and that looks to be at right around 12 and 3 eighths of an inch so I've got a 12 inches and then I've got all the way up to 12 and 3 eighths that I can go so here's that measurement right there. This range for those steel pieces can be anywhere from 12 inches to 12 and 3 eighths. Now we talked before about the interior of my box has to be 11 and 7 eighths inches on the inside. Okay, has to be. So if I create these guys to be 12 inches apart on just the inside edges, the inside corners of this 1 8 inch thick piece of metal, um, that really only leaves me a 16th of an inch on both sheets of plywood right here and honestly that's probably just going to split and break so I'm going to lean a little bit closer towards the 12 and 3 eighths um, if I got 12 and 3 eighths inches that I can uh, spread these guys apart and I've got 11 and 7 eighths that I have to work with in the middle that gives me about a quarter inch difference so if I split the two that gives me about an eighth inch lip right there on the piece of wood that I can leave I'm much better with an eighth inch lip than a small sixteenth inch lip on that piece of wood um, so we're gonna go a little bit wider just to make sure that uh, we got a little bit more strength in the top of the board all right, thanks for walking through the process with me. I'm actually going to take you guys along the cutting part. Um, so I'm going to put a bunch of little clips together, and then we'll see how it turns out in the end. Thank you guys for checking in. I started by ripping strips of plywood to be 10 inches, which is the height of the drawer. Then I cut them down to 12 and 5 eighths of an inch and 17 and 3 quarters of an inch. I then cut a quarter inch wide and 3 eighths of an inch deep dado. This would accept the quarter inch thick bottom piece of plywood that's going to go in the drawer. I then cut a 3 8 inch wide and 3 8 inch deep dado on the inside of the long boards. This would accept the front and back pieces. And these are the front and back pieces that are going to go on the drawers. In order to cut the groove to accept the steel piece that's going to go on top that the file folders are going to be hanging on, I went ahead and used my regular table saw blade, which is about 3 30 seconds of an inch thick. I then had to move the fence over a little bit to get that a little bit bigger to be 1 8 of an inch thick. Now it's time for a quick glue up. I may glue in these steel pieces a little bit later on, but they fit really, really nicely into those grooves. With the file folder in, I've got about one eighth of an inch of wiggle room on the left and right sides, exactly what I wanted. Now I just have to finish gluing up the remaining six of these file drawers, then I get to move on to the lateral files um, with a little bit more complicated measurements. Thank you guys for following along with this little process. 
Um, I plan on doing at least one more math and woodworking video to finish up my dad's office. And then if you guys want to, check out the rest of the videos for my dad's office as well. Those will be coming soon to finish out. Thank you guys for checking in.